came to fight, we came to win We lost before, but never again Back on our grind, you know what it is Yeah, yeah, this is our year Knock us down once, we got up again Put in the work, so I know we gon' win This is for real, we never pretend We gotta win, 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 yeah. I had to stop being base Part of my dreams had to chase You counted me out, I counted me in Fell up before What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Alaska Anchor Seawolves Dynasty, Week Eight and Season Six. We are six and zero, oh, sitting pretty, ranked number two in the country. After a couple of teams lost ahead of us last week, we were number four, jumped up number two. Alabama and Oklahoma lost, which uh, propelled us up to number two. Uh, fresh off our first Pac-12 victory at home versus Oregon State. Go ahead and check out that video before you watch this one. As always, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're brand new. Uh, before we jump into this game against Utah, I want to go over season stats. Halfway during this, uh, halfway season is over, we're going to go over the stats here. So Thurman Anthony, 18 touchdowns, one pick on the season, 1,721 yards. He's the only, um, only person that's going to pass this year. As I, Now he's our number one guy. So uh, really good season so far um good ratio only one pick so we're going to try to continue on that uh rushing uh deval parker leads the way 745 yards 18 touchdowns darren scott getting involved a little bit more especially last game uh 55 yards one touchdown uh then we got peterman uh jeremy thompson and then thurman anthony doesn't really run the ball that much um most of these yards are just or negative yards are just sacks. So, Deval Parker leading the, leading the way in rushing. Uh, receiving, we're spreading out a decent amount, I think. Uh, Cleveland Thomas, 33 catches, 783, 11 touchdowns on the season. He is just our touchdown machine. Darren Scott's got 22 catches, second in the team, but no receiving touchdowns. Uh, 212 yards. Uh, Deval Parker, 20 catches, 174. Stevie, 10 catches, 161, two touchdowns. Nathan Peterman, 181, two touchdowns. Caden Bravo, 77, two touchdowns. Uh, Ducey, six catches, 110, no touchdowns. Y Brooks, four catches, 23 yards, no touchdowns. So obviously Thomas is our main dude. Uh, Darren Scott uh, is our second guy. True freshman, five-star, if you remember him from last season, coming in, playing right away. That's awesome. Uh, defense, Brian Harris, 25 tackles as a freshman. He will be back, which is super exciting. Tucker Navarre, 24. Owen Benfield, 22. Omar, 21. Robert Benz, 18. Those are our top five tacklers. Uh, Navarre, Benfield, Robinson are all seniors, so they will be gone, sadly. Uh, Solo, Harris still leading the way. Uh, TFL, Owen Benfield, 11. Uh, Tucker Navarre, 10. Simpson, 7. Sacks. Ronald Simpson has six sacks in the season. He is uh, he's a freshman. He'll be around for a while. Owen Benfield, 5. Tucker Navarre, 5. Juan Woods, 3. Ben's two sacks. Brian Harris, two sacks, both in last game. And then Phillip Banks from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air has one sack. Um, let's see where we're at. Interceptions, Brian Harris, who else? Three picks. Johnny Shirley, one. Omar Robinson, one. Apollo Prince, one. Apollo will be back next season. Um, Omar and, wow, Johnny Shirley, hopefully will be back next season. I'm going to try to convince him to stay. Um, and then, obviously, Brian Harris is just the stud. So, real quick overview of the stats going at halfway point this season. And I do want to show you recruiting real quick. Uh, last week against Oregon State, we had a decent amount of visits coming into the game. as our That was our first home game. And we ended up signing Brock Washington, a four-star corner out of Maryland. This is really going to help us out on the back end. So I'm excited to get him. He's a 70 overall as a freshman. Maybe redshirt, maybe start. I really don't know what he's going to do next season coming in, but... Super excited to get him. I'll help us out on the back end. So moving forward, these guys, Brian Nobles, Kelvin Johnson, uh, Garrett, and Travis Smith, uh, I really need to beef up the offensive line. I can't stress enough our offensive line. So I'm throwing a 
couple of these high guys up here, and we're not too far back. I mean, look how close we are. 28 points behind Georgia, 75 points behind Nebraska, uh, almost 600 against, you know, we're back kind of far with these guys. But I think we're making some good progress. And these athletes I have down here, too, um, are obviously going to be – I recruit these for like to be our defensive secondary. Um, not necessarily linebackers or running backs. We don't need that right now. We just need defensive guys, defensive secondary, and the offensive line. Everywhere else, we're basically set. So if we can snag two of these offensive – Lyman, even one would be a huge boost, but we really need to beef up our line. Um, I kind of throw in a lot of stuff on the wall and just hopefully some sticks is basically what I'm trying to get at. Uh, so, but so this week, so that's recruiting and that's season season stats. Uh, this week, Utah coming in, they're B plus B plus B. Total offense, they have us beat in total yardage rushing offense. Looks like they like to run the ball a lot. Um, so maybe another ground and pound game uh, with our opponent here. So we're trying to uh, trying to move on to seven and zero. Uh, when Utah comes to town, they're zero three in the Pac twelve. So let's continue on this win winning streak. We're gonna we're gonna focus on Utah. Hopefully, send the home crowd happy with a victory, and uh, let's do it. I'll see you guys on the field. All right. So Utah won the toss. And they, they wanted the ball. So maybe they want to come out here on offense and make a statement right away. Let's see what they got. Nope. Give me that. Oh. <laughs> nope. That's two. That's, that's already two drop picks, bro. Come on, man. All right, third and ten. Shut up. Okay. So after three straight passes, 0 for 3, um, they're going to punt it away. All right, we get the ball for the first time in this game. Defense does its job, holds them. Ooh, nice drag by Stevie for 18 yards. First and 10. We're already in the red zone. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought I was going to get picked, but Stevie jumps up, takes that ball, and let's go. Touchdown. All right, Utah back on offense. Let's go, Benz. Second and 12. Oh, drops it. Apollo, man, you got beat off the line. They dropped it. Third and 12 after we catch a break on the drop. And the quarterback 0 for 5. This guy's wild today. We get the ball back already after the defense holds. Screen. Screen goes for 2. Second and 8. Parker first carrier of the game goes for 3. All right, third and five. Nathan Peterman with the out first down. First and 10 on the 38. Let's go, Darren. Darren Scott for 11 on the out. Let's go, Cleveland. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Get out of here. You can't stop this kid. School record, 12 touchdown catches on the season. Congrats. Utah gets the ball back. Already down two scores. Nope. Oh. All right, Apollo. Second 11. Ah. All right. Nice 10 yard gain. Third and one. They're running no huddle, third and one, all in on the run. Let's go. Oh. Dang. So third and one, they throw it, touchdown Utah. Back on offense. Yeah. 
All right, second down. They go zone. Two yards brings up a third and eight. A third and eight. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, 20-yard <laughs> gain or catch out of the backfield. Deval Parker, first and 10. Line gets a good push. Parker falls forward. And one. Ooh. 12 yard gain wrapped the gut. Line gets a. All right. First and 10. Oh, good play. Good play. All right. Then. Dot to Thomas. Nathan Peterman falling that end zone. Oh, down to the one. First and goal on the one. Easy work. Deval Parker, touchdown. All right. Back on defense. Utah came alive last drive, so... Maybe we'll put something together. Put something together here. Nine yard gain on first down. All on on the run. Second one. We're gonna time this out. No. Oh! Oh! Johnny Shirley tackles the quarterback before he can hand the ball off. <laughs> Third and five. Start of the second quarter. Let's go. And we get. Oh, I thought we were going to get the sack there, but he throws it away. We're going to get the ball back. All right, we're going to get the ball back here, tw up 21 to 7. Oh, I don't see that. I didn't see that guy coming in from the outside. Cut it up for two on second eight on the counter. Mm, third and two. Third and two right up the gut. Parker, let's go. 10-yard, 11-yard gain. First and 10 to 43. Thomas. Oh. First and 10 here. Dang it, nobody's open. Throw it away, Anthony. Way to lock us up downfield. Second down to 34. Scott over the middle for eight. Brings up a third and two. Can't stop Deval Parker's another seven-yard gain. He already has 51 yards on the day. Teen, first and ten. I mean, we're just going to take what they give us. I mean, if they're going to drop back, we're just going to dump it off. Second one. Came back. Uh, third and two. We don't. We do get no. Fourth and one. Okay. Fourth and one. We're going to go for it. I think we can get this anyway. All that for nothing. You got to be kidding me, dude. All right. Start of the second half. First half didn't end the way I wanted it to. They end up. Oh, my goodness. No, I just forced it. Mm, luckily, they dropped it. Uh, all right, second 10. Darren Scott gets 10, but third down still. Ten inches. Let's go, DP. DP, six-yard gain. Let's go, first down, move the chains. First and 10. Could be a big play here, no. Darren Scott cut it up. This guy's having a game. How many catches does he have? All right, six maybe? Six for 50. All right, first and 10, we're going to go Wildcat. We don't run this often, but we're going to try to break it outside, and we don't. That Wildcat, it's either it's a big, it's a home run, or it's nothing. All right, second 13. Ooh, wow. Stevie holds on to it. All right. Third and five. 
Cleveland Thomas, who else? First down, move the chains. First down. Uh, Anthony, I wish you were faster, but just get rid of it. That's okay. All right, second 10. Parker gets seven, brings up a third down. All right, third and three. Bringing the safety up. Nobody blocks linebacker, but Parker doesn't care. Can't stop him anyway. Drags a guy on his back for three yards. Second goal, hat on a hat. Let's go line. Get off me. Touchdown. All right, up three scores. Third quarter. Utah gets the ball. Johnny Shirley slows him up in the backfield. Brings up a second and ten. Don't grab his face mask. Ooh, got bailed out. Okay. Third down. Third and eight. Come on, defense. Ooh, pick it. Oh, <laughs> I was going to pick it off the tip. All right, we get the ball back. Ah, dang it. Why can't I see that guy coming in? Darren Scott gets some back. Brings up a third and short. Stevie cut it up. Fourth and one. Dang it. All right, start of the fourth quarter. Fourth and one. We're going to go for it. They go bare front. We get it anyway. Six-yard game. Move the chains. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 59 is a Superman tips it. All right, second 10. Get a good push. Third and five. Dang, come on, Brooks. Get open, bro. Let's go. Break that tackle. All right. Why Brooks for 10? Peterman on the slant for 10. Ah, hold your block, dang it. Five yards. Parker had to work hard for that five yards, man. Our line just can't hold blocks. All right. Three-yard gain for Parker. 92 yards. We got to get him over the century mark. Ah, oh, gosh, come on. Ah, uh, the wrong button. Circle was open, too. That. Oh, I did. I want to put a little touch on that to just get over the head of the defender. First and goal, wrapped the gut. Parker, fall in there, kid. Ooh, five-yard gain. We got to give him a tutty. 97 yards. Looks like he's going to be just. Touchdown, Deval Parker, 35-7. to seven. What a long drive to cap off. All right, so we end up winning 35-7. to seven. Make pretty quick work with Utah. Um they challenged us a little bit early, but as always, we, we kind of pull away at the end. We got a couple breaks. They drop passes. We drop passes, um, especially a lot of interceptions they dropped. So we did catch some breaks. But overall, I thought we played pretty well. Uh, play the game. Stevie Bailey, man, uh, that grab is nuts. Uh, but that puts us a 7-0 and uh, with a chance to go 8-0. So uh, as always, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Let me know what you think in the comment section. What do you think about this dynasty so far? Um we haven't had any close games yet. I know we're going to get challenged eventually, um, and I think we need to at this point. But we're going to continue on this ride and um, see if we can keep going. So uh, thanks for checking me out, and I'll talk to you guys soon.